migrate a Maven job to a pipeline job on Cloud BCI. In Cloud BCI 2.414.3.7, the Maven plugin was removed from the CloudBees Assurance program. Also in this release, the pipeline Maven plugin was added to the CloudBees Assurance program. Why was all of this done? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Here's today's starting point. I have a CloudBees CI controller version 2.414.3.7. Now on this controller, I have one job defined. The name is sample job. And if we take a look at it, it is of type Maven project. So what I have is a Maven job type that we're going to be turning into a pipeline job. And why is this happening? Let's go back over into our Manage Jenkins and take a look at this notification at the top. The Maven integration plugin, so that's the Maven job type, will be deprecated soon by CloudBees. Please consider uninstalling. Well, let's take a look at this link. If we take a look at the link, what we see here, is that the plugin was removed from the CloudBees Assurance Program, or CAP, in October of 2023. As an alternative to this program, CloudBees recommends using the Pipeline Maven integration plugin, or the Pipeline Dash Maven plugin. So let's go back over to our controller. And what we want to do is we want to install the plugin Pipeline Dash Maven. But also, there's a plugin to help us migrate our Maven job into a declarative pipeline. We're also going to install that plugin. So let's go down to Plugins. We'll go to Available Plugins and type pipeline-maven, and we'll see the pipeline maven integration plugin. That's the one that we want to do. And then also the tool to help us migrate or the plugin to help us migrate our maven job to a pipeline job. We're going to search for that by typing cloudbees-maven. And what we'll see here is the CloudBees Maven Migration Assistant. So we'll check that box. So we're installing two plugins, the Pipeline Maven Integration plugin and also the CloudBees Maven Migration Assistant. Let's go ahead and switch this over to Install After Restart. What we'll see here is there are more than just two plugins because there are some dependent plugins that have to come in with those two plugins. So everything is downloaded successfully. Let's go ahead and click on Restart. So now that the controller has restarted, let's go ahead and verify that the plugins were installed. So I'm on the Installed Plugins page. We'll type Pipeline-Maven. We can see here Pipeline Maven integration is installed. And let's also go ahead and double check CloudBees-Maven. And we can see the CloudBees Maven Migration Assistant has been installed. Now let's go ahead and go back over to our job that we already have set up. So a sample job. We can tell from the name here that it is a Maven job type. But just to prove that out, let's go ahead and go into Configuration. And let's go down and take a look at the job configuration. What we have is a SEM set to Git pointing at a repository that has a POM XML in it. If we go down into our pre-steps, what I'm saying here is echo out a pre-build step. We get into the build section. The only goal that I'm calling is clean because I don't need to actually build anything. I just want to show you how the conversion works. And then finally in post steps, I'm executing a shell of echo post build step. So what we have basically set up is we're going to run a step echoing out pre-build. We run our POM. In this case, we're just going to run a Maven clean. And then at the end, we're going to echo out our post-build step. So what we would expect from a declarative pipeline is three basic stages. A stage to echo out the pre, a stage to actually run the Maven clean, and a stage to actually print out post-build. Let's go back to the job. I've run it once already. Let's take a look at the output from this job. What we'll see here is we see our checkout of the repository. Then we see our echo out of pre-build. Then we get into actually running the Maven clean, which we see right here executing Maven. And then finally, we see our echo post build step. So this was how the Maven job ran. But let's take a look at the left nav on the job. Since we've installed the plugins, we actually have a new item on the left nav, and that's called to declarative. So if we go ahead and click on to declarative, what we'll see here is the pipeline created for us that we need in order to convert the Maven job into a pipeline job. Now, I had said three stages, but really there's four. In the very first stage, we're checking out our repository that we have defined. The next stage, we're echoing out our pre-build step. The next stage, we're going to be using the Maven tool 3.9.5 to actually run Maven clean. And then finally, in the last stage, we see our echo post-build step. Now, let's scroll back up top real quick. There's actually a warning at the top of this job. And we can choose to either fix this warning or ignore it. What it says here is we were unable to convert the following sections in your Maven job. The current Maven job is marked as no concurrent builds, but, is, but concurrent builds are the default option for pipeline. So I can tell just by looking at this declarative job that it's actually OK. But what would I need to do in order to clean this warning up. Let's go back over to our job and let's look for concurrent builds. 
So we'll go to configure and we'll look for execute concurrent builds if necessary. So let's check this box and click on save. So let's assume that's how we wanted our Maven job to run all the time anyway. We'll click on save and then let's click on to declarative. And what we'll see here at the top is now we've got a successful conversion. Now you'll also notice here that we're not able to actually just save it, but in reality, we are able to save it. When we click on convert, it's actually going to create a new pipeline job for us. So instead of saving off the declarative definition of the pipeline, it's actually going to create that job. So let's click on convert and let's see what happens. So when we click on convert, we now are in still sample job, but you may be saying, well, wait a minute, sample job was a Maven project, not a pipeline. What happened to the Maven project? If we go back up to the top of our controller, what we'll see here is we now have a sample job dot backup. So when we clicked on convert, it created a new pipeline job with the same name, but then it renamed the Maven job to the same name dot backup and also disabled that Maven job. So we can see it's currently disabled. Now, if we go ahead and go back into our sample job that is now the pipeline job and take a look at the configuration, when we scroll down into our pipeline script, we can see that the script that we saw for the conversion is actually in this block. So if we go ahead and just click on save and click on build now, what we expect to happen is the repository to be checked out, we echo out our pre-build, we do our Maven clean, and then we do an echo out of our post-build. Let's see if that happens. If we take a look at this output here, what we're going to see is it tried to check out the repository. It found the repository no problem, but then when it actually tried to get to the earlier branch, it wasn't able to find the branch configuration. Again, for our example, this repository has a main branch, not a master branch, which is what this was checking for. So let's go ahead and go into our job. Let's modify this configuration. We know that here by default, the branch expected is master. So let's go to pipeline syntax. We'll select our git step. Let's go back over to our job. Let's copy the repository. We'll paste it in and we'll change our branch from master to main. And let's click on generate pipeline script. We'll copy this, go back over to our job. We'll change our git step to include the branch, branch main and the URL. Let's click on save and click on build now one more time. If we take a look at the output of build number two, now we can see that the repository checked out fine. We have our echo of our pre-build step, our maven clean. And then finally, we also have our echo post build. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell. And you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.